I completely forgot this festival was happening today. I was planning on doing something else, but I guess I'll just take some videos here. I don't even know if you can hear me, it's so freaking loud. <laughs> Sometimes you forget it's the middle of the summer and there's events happening like all the time. Uh, summer is festival season in Japan and I completely forgot that this festival was happening today. I really did come here uh, to record something else. I had something else planned, um, but I guess I'll save that for another day when there's less going on. This festival is the Toyama Matsuri, the Toyama Festival. It is uh, one of the biggest, if not the biggest festivals of the year in Toyama Prefecture. It's awesome, but it's enormous. There is so much going on. Uh, it is also blazing hot, so I don't know if I can stick, stick around for much longer. It's a little bit of uh, stimulation overload right now. I was not planning on this today, um, but uh, I'll get as much video as I can, and then uh, I'll pack it. This right here behind me, by the way, is Toyama Castle, and uh, I've actually never been inside. So one of these days, I'll go in and uh, bring my camera in with me and I'll uh, show you guys around. Not today though. That uh, character in the middle, that's Summer. That's the character for Summer. So the style of dance that they're doing today is called Yosakoi. I hope you can hear me. Uh, it's called Yosakoi. It is um, a particular style of Japanese dance. Uh, it's done in big groups usually. Some of the key characteristics of Yosakoi, first of all the clothing, I'm sure you've noticed almost everyone is wearing very colorful, uh, kind of kimono style outfits. Um, second, there's flag waving. Uh, there's always like one or two men in the group that are, are waving flags in the background. Uh, huge, giant flags. Um, number three, they have these little noise makers that they carry. They're wooden uh, little clappers that they shake around and it makes a clacking sound. I don't know what you would compare it to in America. Maybe like castanets, kind of like castanets, or at least a similar sound to castanets. But those are the uh, main characteristics of Yosakoi dance. I've seen them before.
They're still going. Unbelievable. They crossed the finish line and they just kept on dancing. Amazing. Yeah. Wonderful. Good job. It's so crowded, it's hard to get like a really good view of anything. So I just entered this building kind of randomly. I hope. I mean, I don't know if it's okay. It's probably not okay, but it's open. So I'm just climbing up the stairs. I'm gonna see if I can get to the roof and uh, get a better view. Holy shit. Are you guys seeing this? T -t oh, it stinks. Oh, that smells real bad. Oh, Jesus. We're going back down. Back down, back down. Oh, that smells terrible. Ryan Let's see. some food in me my power is back to about 75% but maybe I'll uh, find a nice place to rest here in this garden and uh, get me back up to a hundred percent I think that's more than enough excitement for one afternoon. Certainly far more than I was expecting to have. Uh, so I'm satisfied. I am going to head home now.
Kurobe. Last stop of the night. Little festival at the beach. So big, and this is Shota, yeah. Moose Papa. <laughs> this is Kenshin. I just met Kenshin. Shota is an old friend uh, from my first year in Kurobe. I met Shota at a, a local bar and uh, we've been friends ever since. Kenshin, bye bye. Mata ne. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Mata ne. Mata ne. Mata ne. Mata ne. Mata ne. By far the shortest fireworks display I've seen this year, but hey, not bad for our little town, right? Um, that was fun. I didn't know what to expect from this festival, but it was a little bigger than I was expecting, so hey, not a bad way to end the night. Alright, good night everyone. I'm going home. Bye bye. <laughs>